guys. Uh, for those of you who don't know me or what might be new to either my Instagram or my channel apparently now, um, I'm Georgie, this is Lola, I'm 18, she's 6, I am an animal lover, I'm an assistant stock handler, well assistant stock in training, but even so, um, I'm chronically ill and I also happen to have Munchausen's, which is really cool, um, but it's also a nightmare at times. Um, but no, I thought I'd make a video for my followers on Instagram so they can have something to like look back on and go through if they have any questions and then obviously if they have further questions you guys can DM me or whatever. Um, but I just feel like I have this up as a reference kind of point. Um, I'm also considering starting a proper channel on here talking about all sorts of stuff, not just Munchausen's, but talking about chronic illness, talking about assistance dog and just kind of general me stuff um but no that it, it could be fun so without further ado i am probably going to go straight into it because <sighs> that's kind of piece of knowledge i wanted to get out was what is munchausen um and i can't remember the actual definition of google but it's basically where a person either one-offly, is that word, or repeatedly feigns, induces, or exaggerates an illness or condition or an injury um, in order to obtain medical treatment and therefore attention. Um, but it's not always for medical treatment, if that makes sense. It can be just for medical treatment. What it is not is um, going after drugs and it's also not um, Munchausen by proxy or FIDIO which is um, where you produce the symptoms of harm in someone else so it's not only a mum and a child but it's not always a mum and a child it can be anyone like there have been some seriously creepy cases out there like google it for loads um, Munchausen itself it's completely separate from those two so I I, I liken Munchausen in itself and Munchausen by proxy to be like diabetes type 1 and type 2 you can they're both separate they're under the same umbrella but they're separate illnesses in themselves um but you can have like a 1.5 which is like kind of a, like parts of both and one for that case but I guess in that case I just don't know if it's two I don't know. Um, along alongside that um, is the symptoms that I use, uh, symptoms symbols that I use um, alongside it to help kind of express myself. Number one is the cute little rabbit, and I actually have a little rabbit pendant um, on me, um, and I use that when I'm in hospital for the Munchausen or I'm being treated or whatever. Um, if it's Munchausen related, I'll be wearing it basically. Um, but also. <sighs> I use the spiral because it's so addictive and it, you can get kind of sucked into it really really easily and it kind of sucks um, but kind of speaking from treatment point of view it's only really CBT and something with CBT um, is um, I personally found it didn't work for me with my other mental health issues so I very much doubt it will work for this one, but you know, do what you do. Um, that is one of the reasons, because there is no fucking hell. Um, and another reason is, if you kind of put yourself in my shoes, um, the amount of stigma and hate coming down on you, the amount, the way we're treated in hospitals, that is, um, compared to how we need to be treated as munchies, um, I have seen some horrific things, I have experienced horrific things, it is not nice. Um, and also kind of, you can lose everything, basically. You can lose your housing, you can lose your benefits, you can lose your treatment, you can lose your complete dignity, you can lose your job, you can lose, just, gone. Um, and it shouldn't be like that, um, but it is, unfortunately. Um, for me, personally, this kind of entire setup 
is provided on the basis that I have a disability, which I don't um, to have all disabilities. Um, but if I was to come out as a munchie and try to get out, I would end up in a lot worse position because people don't don't understand that chronic illness and much has in kind of this side by side. Um, so that's kind of one of the issues we've got with that. Um, in terms of causes, um, I'm not going to get into this in great detail, but there's kind of a few uh, hypothesised theories um, with regards to causes, and one of them is um, abuse. One of them is MSBP, so that's kind of like a subcategory of abuse. So, for example, if your mum or dad or caregiver had MSBP and you're in hospital a lot as a child, um, or if you're in hospital anyway, like with chronic illnesses, like I was, um, if you're um, basically it, the correlation seems to be if you have exposure to hospitals at your age, or you end up going to bed soon, then you, you could be potentially be at risk. Um, but we, we don't know quite what causes it because there's not enough research. It's not enough research because hardly anybody talks about it. Um, but that's kind of where we are at the moment with it. So now I kind of wanted to talk about um, coverage with Munchausen, which is something that I got really, really excited about about a month and a half, maybe two months ago. Um, and what I'm talking about is Holly Oaks and I think it's Maxine Minerva or something like that um, and her storyline. Um, I am going to watch the entire thing through and then I'm going to turn it into one big video and then I'm going to upload it along with my thoughts and commentary. So it'll be like kind of director's commentary and it's not director's commentary, it's a Manchi commentary. Um, but I was so pumped about that and from what I've seen of it, some of it is really really good and so relatable and I can't wait to show you guys that. So off the top of my head, um, things that aren't mentioned are as follows. Mentions in my proxy, things that link to malingering or drug thinking, things that are just attention warring and aren't linked to medical events. So for example, pretending you're a millionaire online isn't Manchester's my internet. It's just not. Um, I've also heard a lot of talk about kind of how we interact with the CI uh, slash chronic illness community um, and how we affect them. Here's the truth. Yes. We are probably one of the reasons you cannot get your tube or your treatment or your drugs without kind of sounding, making you sound like a drug seeker. Um, and we are probably the reason that my best friend at the moment is starving. However, there are budget cuts. There are lots of other reasons doctors are suspicious and it all kind of plays into one. So. In America, drugs are expensive, and I know in some places you guys are having struggles with finding certain meds. Um, and also, you, you want to try all the treatment options available and making sure that you choose the safest and best option for you. Sometimes, what you want isn't what you need, and so forth. Um, but yeah, I completely hold my hands up to that one. You know, we're not, um, we are part of the reason, but we're not the entirety of the reason, and certainly, one person is not the entirety of the reason. Um, you can't go around blaming people, um, one person especially, um, for being the entire reason why we can't get as much help uh, in hospitals and so forth. Um, another kind of thing that I wanted to clear up is munchies can be chronically ill. I'm both munchie and chronically ill. I have a dugger. Um So many people I know with Munchausen have chronic illness and there are a few comorbidities I've kind of seen like as a pattern like Munchausen goes hand in hand with BPD um, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean that all Munchies are going to have BPD that doesn't mean all BP, B, BPDers have um, Munchausen but they're linked 
um, uh, that's also linked to other personality disorders, uh, narcissistic sick, uh, personality disorder, I know is one, um, and I can't remember the others, but I know they are linked to personality disorders. Is that like we're all horrible, horrible people, and we beat other people down and bully them and we, like, make ourselves a victim and, like, that can be us, and I, I can honestly hand on heart say that Munchausen has in the past maybe a horrible, horrible person, um, but it's not who all of us are, and I'm, I would like to think I'm a fairly decent person now. So please, please don't start judging someone and thinking they're horrible just because that meant you. So a lot of the arguments I hear are like, oh, you choose, you choose illness, you know, you're offending me. And it's like, yes, we choose illness, but we don't choose much else and that makes us choose illness. <sighs> so the next kind of category is... Um, Munchers and, and how it affects me personally. So I have known I was a munchie um, since I was about 13 and I kind of went into denial period and I kind of back on the munchie wagon and then it's just like um but I've always had it um I've had it as long as I can remember um and I've lost places in schools I have lost places in colleges I have lost place in school trips, I have been kicked out of hospitals, I have been put in hospital, I've been put in the ICU, I've nearly died because of it, um, I've, I like to say I do have a life because I do, but equally when shit hits the fan, shit really does hit the fan, um, and it puts me in quite a bit of danger, um, it affects almost every part of your life, it's always in the back of your mind, um, even if it's not coming out directly. So for example, I, I don't know if this is a general mentally thing or just a me thing, um, but I'm a really snuggly person, like I'm like an attention war outside of munching. Um, I, I, I don't like to be ignored, I don't like if someone's on the phone and they're with me it's like hey bitch pay attention to me like hello I'm right here um I am quite clean I don't like to be left alone I'm very much kind of um very very soppy fussy girly person and a lot of people can't deal with that um and because of that it's affected almost all of my relationships and a few of my relationships have broke off because they can't deal with me like being in hospital all the time, they can't deal with me being like being fun one minute and almost dying the next. Um, they can't deal with the kind of up and down of it, or they can't deal with the cleanliness. Um, so unfortunately, um, another kind of um, aspect of it is daily living. Like, I don't know if this is just a me thing, or it's a general munchie thing, or if it's a self-harm thing, or it's kind of all three kind of piled in together, but, like, you see every opportunity as an opportunity to munch, and sometimes that means you don't sleep, sometimes that means you don't eat, sometimes that means you don't go out, because you just know you won't be safe if you do any of those things. Um, and sometimes you can't sleep because your ideas are so crammed full of all these really crazy wild ideas that will probably <laughs> kill you. Um, it's, uh, it's a really, really difficult one um, because I like to say it doesn't affect me much. I like to say that I have a life. I'm more than a munchie, you know, I go out, I do things, I have hobbies, I have interests kind of outside the medicine world, um, but unfortunately when my kind of illness stops that, munchie kind of joins it and it just Um, speaking of munchie housing, chronic illness, um, I wanted to talk about how munchie and my chronic illnesses, yeah, speaking physically at least, I am pretty delicate, um, and 
I learnt as a young child, unfortunately, that it's far too easy to hurt myself. I don't even just get help. So another kind of thing I want to talk about was Munchausen and loved ones. So a lot of people kind of come to me and say, shit, I think my loved one is a munchie and I don't know what to do. Um, and generally this is kind of after they get to that point when they start becoming a, quite a bit of a danger to themselves. Generally people, sometimes they do, um, but I've not had it yet. Um, generally people by the time it's noticed it's a little bit too late and it's kind of loads and loads of years of like noticing things in them and like looking back on sometimes videos and like comparing notes and just sometimes you know something's up and like it's a really horrible thing to accuse your loved one on and they're probably going to eat you like when you if you go up to a munchie and you accuse them of being a munchie, if they're not out, they will go bananas. They will accuse you of all sorts of things, they'll probably throw things at you, they'll cut you off as a friend, they'll storm out, it's very dramatic. Um, and this is why I say to them, don't, unless you're kind of really, really close and you can kind of ease it out of them, don't ever go up and say, listen dude, sit down, we need to talk. Uh, I think it might be mentioned because the instant reaction it's going to be instant deflect. Um, so I say build up slowly unless there is a significant danger of harm to yourself, in which case you probably want to get a doctor's advice. Um, because I'm not a doctor. But I say try to build an intrigue. Um, you know, leave my page open on your phone and leave them out for see. Like, leave. Um, just show them that you're trustworthy in all situations and that they can come to you and that you will help them out and you're not going to shun them or judge them or push them away or call them crazy or insane or break up with them or anything like that um because that's kind of what we're really really scared of um coming out is such a big leap and it's the most horrifying feeling I can only describe it as the feeling of your entire life falling apart in front of you, feeling really hot and sweaty and clammy and it's almost like a panic attack, a silent panic attack and all you can hear is screaming and everything's telling you to run away and it's horrible. Um, so generally trying to out them isn't the best thing because they tend to get quite violent <laughs> and just it doesn't end well either for your friendship or them themselves because generally they're trying to prove themselves to you and that could mean inducing it could mean faking and that means more hospital emissions you need more danger it means it, it's just it's not really and what you want to take um it's a really really complex one um kind of on the other side of the coin if they tell you a munchie a lot of people are really really shocked and i've had one or two people come to me and be like oh, i don't know how to support them basically um so the basic the basic um kind of bottom lines is munchies and ports don't mix munchies and tubes don't mix munchies and lines in general don't mix munchies and hospitals don't mix munchies and moving vehicles don't mix munchies and Anything that can be remotely classed as dangerous, don't mix. Um, but you can't wrap them in bubble wrap. Um, you've kind of just got to set up an honesty policy that if they're going to do something and they feel like they're going to do something, they come to you first. So you can at least keep an eye on them if they're going to do it or like talk them down from it if you can. Um, and or you can transport them to hospital if they need to go. Um, because obviously danger um you should never do is you should never like i understand it's a complete shock and it would be for me as well but you should never ever shun them or call them an attention war or tell them they're hopeless or useless tell them a bad person tell them that they're offending you that they're offending the entire community uh, illness, chronic illness community or you know be like get out i don't want to see you again you know 
if you can't get off your own high horse, um, then you shouldn't be supporting them. Um, and frankly, if you feel like you're going to say any of that, just dip your lips, smile and nod, and just um, just explain that you can't deal with it. Um, and maybe you've met them my page number, and if you support like Samaritan's numbers or something. Um, but like, don't don't be horrible to them. Like, they're trying. Um, and coming out is a huge, huge step, and it's so scary. Um, but ultimately, I think a lot of Munchausen is trusting your companion, um, your companion, your friend or partner or whoever to stay safe. Um, my friends don't know what's going on with me generally, um, and I'm alone in this giant ass room. Um, I have access to main roads, I have access to hospitals, I could hop if I wanted to, and I don't, and I'm just fine. Um, because I've got my community um, to chat with, I've got this to be doing, um, and I find ways around it. Um, on that sort of note, um, I have had several people now come to me and be like, I'm a munchie, or I think I'm a munchie, what do I do? If you're watching this video going, oh my god, I think I might be a munchie. I would suggest sitting down, writing the pros and cons of telling, like, first a really 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 close friend or family member and then your therapist if you have one or then your doctor if you have one and so forth and building kind of outwards like that you don't have to tell everyone you can just tell like a select few people like um you might only want to tell like one doctor and friend so they can like, know or just a doctor or um you know wh wherever floats your boat or you might choose to kind of keep it internal and kind of try to work it through um but obviously my advice then would be please make sure you stay safe it's not shameful or a secret or something you have to hide and it's horrible and you, like basically nobody has to go with this for this alone like that's my motto and it's always been my motto um i i don't want anyone to go through the hell i've been through um trying to figure myself out um and the hell my friends been through as well um sort of um question i get asked a lot is how can i support the community and how can i make sure that people can come to me if they ever feel like they're in turmoil um obviously one of the ways you can share that you can raise awareness and kind of support those who are struggling is share my page talk about it on your page, talk about it in groups, just keep talking basically. I'm really sorry that one has been a really long video, um, <laughs> right where I haven't actually come covered that much content considering the length of it, um, but I will leave my Instagram in the description so you guys can talk to me, um, any point you want, um, but I think from both of us that will be a bye. Do you want to say goodbye? He's like, no I don't want to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye, guys.